Well, slowly but surely, investigators across Minnesota are arresting more people accused of starting fires during the riots following the death of George Floyd. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives St. Paul Division says that it is investigating well over 100 fires across the Twin Cities. And the agency is offering a high reward for any tips that lead to an arrest. WCCO's Jeff Wagner has more on the effort to bring justice for the victims. Tucked in next to the infamously looted Target near Minneapolis PD's 3rd Precinct was another victim of the lawlessness that enveloped the area, Minnesota Transitions Charter School. Surveillance footage shows someone walking through with a gas can. Administrators tell us there were 19 attempts to burn the school down and 19 times the sprinkler system prevented that, but the damage was still done. Which I, it really hit a lot of the students that they felt like, wow, that was kind of my, that was my life in school. And this case is just the tip of the iceberg for the Twin Cities. Well, we have uh, investigated more than 150 fire scenes. Terry Henderson is the special agent in charge for the ATF St. Paul Division. He says two national response teams have been deployed to the area to help with the caseload. This has certainly been an unprecedented event. Much of their time is spent combing through countless videos, some surveillance, others submitted by witnesses. Those pictured are accused of setting fires at banks, dental offices, stores, and schools. We're just so thankful that the public has been willing to share information with us to help us solve these cases. The ATF is now offering up to $70,000 in reward money for information that leads to an arrest, a hefty sum for the tipster and a dose of justice for those hurt by the destruction. I think as a school we would agree that this holding them responsible is, is going to be a nice closure for sure. At least four arrests have been made so far, and the pictures of those other suspects are attached to this story on WCCO.com. That's where you'll also find the contact information for the ATF St. Paul Division. So, Jeff, the investigations are finding people who are responsible, and I understand that there could be financial help for these businesses as well. Yeah, today, Minnesota lawmakers proposed millions of dollars to help these business owners rebuild, and if passed, about half of the 300 million proposed dollars would be distributed in just the next two or three weeks and specifically to the businesses in those lower income neighborhoods, the ones hit hardest when the protests turn violent. All right. Thank you, Jeff. It's been three weeks since George Floyd died following his arrest in Minneapolis. A former police officer knelt on his neck for nearly nine minutes. The medical examiner ruled Floyd's death a homicide.